Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Salas and in this video we are reviewing the Cold Steel Black Talent 2. This is a sinister piece of steel and I'm super excited to share my review on it. It's been super requested so this is going to be a fun one. We're going to go over the pros and the cons on this blade to help you decide if it's right for you and your everyday carry needs. Also before we get started make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said let's cut into it. Cold Steel Black Talon 2 comes in with an overall length of 9.5 inches. So it's certainly a little bit of a larger blade, but it is ultra, ultra thin. The handle thickness comes in at just 0.39 inches. It has a blade length of 4 inches, and that is comprised of CPM S35VN. It has two different models. We have the serrated version here, but it also has the standard plain edge. Personally, if you're going for a knife and you want this style of blade, you definitely need that serration. It's gonna help you rip through materials and open up your packages that much quicker. The blade thickness comes in at 0.13 inches, and I really love how they maintain some of that thickness up towards the tip, helping increase the robustness of this blade, so that way if you're using it and slashing with it, you have a less likely chance of breaking it off. The serrations on this blade are absolutely wicked. It will bite and melt through a variety of different materials such as leather, cardboard, and any other sort of rope that you may be slicing through. I'm really a big fan of the thickness that they went with. It's not super thin where it's going to break off. It is definitely robust but still maximizes cutting performance so you can really get a lot of shearing capabilities with the Black Talon too. Along the top of the blade we have a swedge that leads to a little bit of a divot that helps increase the effectiveness of that thumb disc opener. You can certainly use it as a regular thumb disc or you can wave deploy it out of your pocket it coming out in under a second. This locks into place with the Demco Triad lock that is ultra tough and I really love the reliability of this lock ensuring it's not going to close on your fingers so I feel confident being able to clear and rake a variety of different materials to get to what I need to cut. The handle texture on this is G10 but it's not overly grippy like we've seen on other things like the Voyager series. This is actually a little bit smoother and I'm certainly here for it. It's not going to completely shred your pockets yet it still maximizes grip. Smooth to the touch but when you apply a little bit of pressure you're locked in there. I also also love the handle shape. There's so many grooves and textures on this and I love that they added this little bit of a cap here to help lock in your hand on any of those pulling and raking motions that you may need to do depending on what you're cutting. Because this blade is ultra thin it increases your carry options no matter how you want to store it. There's also that pocket clip on here that is reversible to left or right hand tip up carry. I personally have mixed feelings about the pocket clip. I'm not really a big fan of the satin look. I really wish that it was black especially for this style of blade. It also has a really aggressive tip that points down making it slightly challenging to get into your pockets right out of the box so I'd love to see that angled up a little bit to increase the smoothness coming in and out of the pocket. You can see here where I had a little bit of trouble indexing it back into the pocket. These are also on 511 Defender Flex jeans so the pockets are like doubly thick but still I think it needs to be angled up just a little bit. That's my only enhancement I would do on this blade. You'll also notice that along the inside of the handle there's no liners which I am a very big fan of increasing the lightweight capabilities of this blade only coming in at 4 4.8 ounces and I'm also a big fan of the tip forward weight so it kind of lends itself to fast recovery and nimble motions both in the forward and that reverse grip which obviously is super fun to play around with. Even though this blade was intended for those heavier duty situations I really think it has a lot of cutting capabilities especially in an everyday carry roll. That slanted forward tip makes it amazing at opening packages along with that wave deploy feature it's going to come out fast and ready for an emergency and because it's so thin and strong it makes it great to carry around for extended periods of time in a variety of different positions that may be more concealed than some of your average pocket knives. I really enjoy the fact that you could hand this blade to just about anyone and no matter what you do with it, even an untrained person, this blade is extremely effective. So I would recommend this to any martial artist or anyone interested in upgrading their personal safety. The Black Talon 2 will have you covered in that department. The Cold Steel Black Talon 2 is absolutely menacing and I really prefer this blade over the Spyderco Civilian because of that wave deploy feature and a little bit of a stronger lock. I'm also a really big fan of the price point at the time of this review, you can find this blade for $119, and I think that's a really good value. Especially when you consider the fact that the Spyderco Civilian is sitting around $225, $250, you get a better deal, better bang for your buck, I'd definitely go with the Black Talon too. I am a huge fan of this blade, but let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section down below. Is this something that you would add to your everyday carry? If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications so you won't miss future videos, helping you save money and upgrade your gear. Also, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind-the-scenes update on gear giveaways and fun content you won't find here. 
With that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.